Hi, I just want to make a short video discussing some of the cool ways you can use the back paper in a Cambridge wide, Cambridge wide margin. Uh, I've been using wide margins for a while and I just recently got the Cambridge. I had the Pit Minion first and I love the Pit Minion. And actually, I would still call that my daily Bible and then this is a, more of a studying Bible. But one thing that has always been confusing to me is what to use the, all that beautiful notebook paper and the lettered paper in the back for. And so I had an idea. Okay, so first the uh, we'll talk about the, the lined paper. And uh, I developed uh, some systems. I, I will say I was using systems before Matthew Everhard came out with his thing, not using systems, using symbols, but he really encouraged me to kind of get more in depth. So right here, we have what is an arrow pointing up, and that is for theology proper. And so this verse we got here, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who only does wondrous things. That's a pretty sweet verse, right? So what I wanted to do was somehow mark or keep track of these symbols in a systematic way so I could kind of access um, verses that the Lord had been working on me or, or that I found to be encouraging. So I came right back here, got a little tab, and I wrote out the different symbols and what they stand for. So I basically just worked on them so they all stood for um, different areas of doctrine. So theology proper, bibliology, anthropology, um, we got Christ Christology, angelology, ecclesiology, eschatology, some more. We got um, hamartiology, keep going. As you can see, I'm still relatively new at starting this. I've only got a couple things filled out. But, so right here, Psalm 72, 18, I even put an asterisk by it because I really like the verse. So I put the reference, and then I put the verse after it. So now I can, as this list grows, and as I use this Bible more, I can have um, a long, systematic, really, swaths of scripture, basically at my disposal, just by by flipping the page. So that's one really cool thing. You can see this is how I actually originally started it out. And I took these theological terms, and that's the next thing I started to do, was if you've ever seen an open Bible, in the front part of an open Bible, they actually have what is a topical index. And it's really nice because it's got these different definitions um, for you to be able to just pull to. And I use that a lot. The thing about the open Bible, well, that's not the point of this video. So what I did was now when I come, against, come across words, um, that I don't know, I'm creating my own topical index. So, or dictionary, I guess you could say. So we got recompense to pay back in kind. I got that from the Open Bible. Here's another definition I got from the Open Bible. Um, this one, I can't tell you what that is off the top of my head. Oh, here it is. Uh, pocket Dictionary of Theological Terms, uh, Lexham Factbook. And so then I'll write down those definitions. Um, I'm not quite as detailed as the Open Bible because the Open Bible is also a, a concordance. It tells you where that word is used. So here's mystery right there. But I just think it's a unique and, and cool way to systematize your notes and keep track of things, but then also have reference material to be able to use. So um, that's all I want to talk about. There's lots of people who have cool information on Bibles and different ways they use their wide margins. And that was one that I came up with and I wanted to share it. So maybe it'll help you. Thanks.